Hey plant gang, look at this great ground cover here. This is Ophiopogon japonicus nana. And when you see here nana, you should automatically think of, this must be smaller than the straight species. Uh, of the Mondo grasses, uh, Ophiopogon japonicus nana is commercially available uh, and also very valuable because of its turf-like uh, appearance and the way that it grows and fills in in shady situations in particular uh, in the landscape. Uh, in the southeastern United States, uh, shade is really the place that you want to put this. Um, you can put it in dry shade. Uh, if it does creep out into a little bit more sun, you're going to have to provide it with adequate moisture and it will get some browning on the edges of its leaf. Uh, but what is so attractive to gardeners about this plant is its short stature. Here just about six inches high, uh, maybe spreading out over a long time uh, to an 8 inch to 12 inch clump. That would be over a very long time. Uh, but this could actually uh, be used as a lawn turf grass substitute. This is a grass-like plant. It's not a grass, uh, but it's a grass-like plant. And I could uh, see that in a shady situation where you can't get turf grass to grow uh, or lawn grasses to grow, maybe you would use this as a substitute really almost as a no-mo uh, substitute uh, for a traditional lawn in a shady spot. Dwarf Mondo grass is a low-growing, evergreen Mondo grass that slowly spreads by short underground stolons, forming, uh, forming a clump. Again, I would prefer to be in some shade. Uh, maybe actually afternoon shade would be the ideal situation for this. It can handle uh, some foot traffic, uh, can again make a turf or a lawn grass alternative, in particular in some of those shady spots. Now, under the right circumstances, this will flower with short spikes of flowers uh, that are followed by round, circular, almost pearl-like fruit. Uh, but you don't always see this flower. It has to be really in the right situation. So let's go to the landscape tip, which is really, uh, we've said it before, but here's the landscape tip. This plant can tolerate some foot traffic. It makes a great lawn alternative for low traffic areas.